Hi, Eat Tankers. Thanks for visiting me today. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about carbohydrate to fiber ratio. One of the most critical concepts that you need to understand in order to be able to navigate the modern day food world. Easily digestible carbohydrates in our foods cause our blood sugars to spike very high and this is really bad for you. It causes inflammation, which promotes atherosclerosis, which promotes heart disease, which promotes death that makes heart doctors unhappy. Um, on the other hand, if your food has a lot of fiber in it, this will inhibit how quickly your blood sugar spikes up and it will allow you to have a gentle rise in your blood sugar and a gentle decrease in it and you don't get the sugar spikes that cause all those bad things. In a recent Harvard study, they came out and said the single most important thing that you can remember, if you're gonna remember nothing else when you go walk about the food world trying to figure out what to eat and what not to eat, is the carbohydrate to fiber ratio. How do you figure it out? How do you figure out what is a good carbohydrate to fiber ratio in your food? You look at the food label and on the nutrition label, it'll say total carbohydrates in grams and underneath that, it'll say dietary fiber. Divide dietary fiber into total carbohydrates. That number is 10 or higher, it's terrible. You want your carbohydrate to fiber ratio to be less than 10. That means that your blood sugar will go up nice and slow and down nice and slow. No spike, no inflammation, no early cardiac death. 10, less than 10. Read your food labels. If that number is bigger than 10, throw it over your shoulder. If that number is littler than 10, much happier. If that number is littler than Yeah, it's hard to bend raw asparagus, but if it's littler than five, that's even better. So look for that. Less than 10 is your number. Bye. Come back to Eat Tank and learn. There's way more to learn. See y'all.